Welcome back to another episode of Stupid Geek Tricks with your host, Eli the Computer Guy. Is it kind of screwed up that this is actually on my desk? This isn't even a joke. This is like, this is actually just sitting there. Anyways, one of the questions that has come up for our little voice-controlled AI project here is what about using local voice recognition? So for this project, basically I'm able to talk to this little computer, it's able to turn on lights, it does stuff with LEDs, it talks back to us. And so one of the questions though is, I'm currently using Google Cloud voice services. So I talk into this, that voice goes up to the cloud, the text comes back and that gets processed. And so the question is, is can we do all of it locally? And the answer is yes, sort of, right? So one of the things that you can use is OpenAI, the Whisper um, uh, module uh, for, uh, for, uh, for Python, uh, allows you to use OpenAI's Whisper model to actually take in voice uh, and turn that into text. Uh, but when you're doing it locally on a Raspberry Pi, do remember, again, from an architecture standpoint, this is actually running on the Raspberry Pi itself. So, you know, it, it works. So let me run this code here. Hey, potato, hello. So it's just transcribing. Again, it takes longer. Hey, potato, hello. Okay, um, let's see here. Hey, potato, should I wear a coat today? You will notice, because it is running on this, it does take longer than going up to the API. You said, hey, potato, should I wear a coat today? There we go. Uh, what about this? Hey, potato, how much chuck could wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> Usually get some interesting responses here. You'll see the little fan buzzing along as it tries to figure things out. You said, hey, potato, how much chocolate would you like if you would like to put chocolate wood? So I think this is interesting. I'm not quite sure what is going on with the Whisper model. I think it's trying to figure out, not just turning your voice into words, but it's trying to figure out what order those words should be in. Because remember, when we're dealing with like a lot of these models, right, it's, it's the statistical probability of where words should basically come up. And so since I say something like, how much Chuck could woodchuck Chuck if woodchuck could Chuck would, I don't think it really understands what the hell I'm saying. I don't think there's enough statistical relationship there for it to be able to provide me a good answer. Let me try this without the potato. How much chuck could woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood? Transcribing. You said, how much chuck could woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh, wow, that is actually the very first time this has run. So anyways, this gives you an example of running the Whisper model. This is completely local. You'll notice I have no network connection here. So this is running completely local on this Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 5 with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, and their performance, I mean, for, for, for what it is, again, I call it potato for a reason, for what it is, uh, isn't too bad. I think, I think where I see the problems is when you ask things that might be considered like weird, uh, you know, how I do things, um, I think that becomes a bigger issue. But but here, we're actually seeing that it actually solves a problem. Um, so I would say be careful if you're saying weird things uh, to the Whisper uh, module, uh, and also realize it is going to take significantly more time for this thing to work. So let's do this one more time. And so I do think that the Whisper module is actually probably a pretty good thing for your project. Eh, let's see how it goes. And so I do think that the Whisper module is actually probably a pretty good thing for your project. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, I don't, it's working better. I swear to, I swear to God, I'm working with this thing for a little while. The, <laughs> these are the best of responses. Maybe, and I do have to say this, maybe because I'm talking into the camera, maybe I'm enunciating better, right? When I'm just sitting here playing around and, and talking to it, maybe I'm not being clear enough. 
I don't know. I mean, this 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 is act. I swear to God, this is actually much better than it was uh, five minutes ago. Anyways, so that is the Open AI Whisper module. Uh, you can download the Python module, uh, Open AI hyphen Whisper. Use this with the Speak Recognition Python module, uh, and there you go. These are the types of things that we do at Silicon Dojo, and I'm working on this for the uh, the Silicon Dojo class coming up with pushing AI to the edge. So if you're interested, take a look at SiliconDojo.com. And with that, see y'all later.